Well, you know what? One of the things I love about 365 is it builds bridges. It is a, a connecting tool so that teenagers from all kinds of different walks of life, backgrounds, um, different ideas about uh, how we need to function together as Christians, how we, how we relate to our communities, our worldview, all of that is so different and you can bring all these kids into one place and they have a chance to meet each other and find out that Christianity is so much bigger than just a local community. Speaking as a parent, what I love about 365 is my children get to be the recipients of the love and energy that the NBC students pour out on the retreaters during that weekend. Well, as an NBC student, uh, the, what 365 means to me, the word that comes to my mind is impactful. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm an NBC student is because of 365 coming in, in grade 10 and the Lord really meeting me here in an impactful way really drawing me to himself and, and, and calling me one of his children, bringing me to himself and really kickstarting uh, my Christian walk, actually taking my faith seriously. The worship night, like I think it was Saturday nights that have the worship night, that was like the best part. Like that was when I felt like closest and like just reminded me that I needed God, like that it was important to worship him. As a retreater, something that always like drew me back was when I came, I was reminded that I had purpose and that I God had a plan for my life and I could really depend on him. Um, I knew that before, but it was just a really great way to remind me um, how much uh, that God, like I meant to God and that he wanted to use me. and. Um, yeah, really gave me purpose, and I loved the aspect, like coming here and knowing that I wasn't alone. Um, that because I had a small community um, back home, coming here and knowing that there was other Christians my age, and uh, seeing different passions of the NBC students, which now I am an NBC student, which is crazy um, to know that I can make an impact as well. Um, but having that being reaffirmed that I wasn't alone um, and that others were there and they were striving towards the same things that I was striving towards um, was really neat growing up to see that. And, and to recognize that this isn't something that happens on a small scale, um, that it's a bigger picture of what's going on is really exciting for kids to be able to come together and be a part of. 365, to me, it means... Um, a great time to grow in my relationship with God and to meet new people. 365 is always a weekend I really enjoy. It's always super fun and I enjoy staying in the dorm and hanging out with the students and doing all the activities. It's really fun how the activities differ from year to year. Last year I really enjoyed the segues and some of the workshops that I attended. Um, activities were all great. Like I don't think I was ever bored the whole weekend. Bring in that, that common effort because we want to glorify God. We want to, we want to put on this awesome event for these youth to come and see how mighty our God is. And that is really, um, that is really the best part about 365 is, um, is experiencing the glory of God and being impacted by the glory of God. Probably to not be afraid to tell my testimony. Like when students are telling their testimonies, and it was definitely something like to have someone else telling their testimonies, like just to show like, like my testimony could affect someone the way their testimonies affected me. And so it was pretty powerful that way, just hearing people like talk about their life and how I could relate to that. My vision this year is I really want the retreaters to know that God can be their anchor and that no matter what through the storms of life, through uh, the craziness of high school or um, problems at home, that God never leaves them or forsakes them and that he is their rock and their foundation. And with, the, with him by their side, they will not be shaken. Come join us for 365 2018, March 9th to 11th. See you there.